A little more than four weeks ago, a Sioux Falls police officer pulled over a car with suspicious license plates. According to police, the 22-year-old driver refused to get out of the car, then tried to drive away, putting the officer's life in danger. The officer fired several shots, striking the driver multiple times. The front seat passenger was also hit. This shooting, like 11 others in 2022, is being investigated by the South Dakota Division of Criminal Investigation. Now here's a look at officer-involved shootings over the past five years. As you can see, there was a big jump last year. All but two happened in either Sioux Falls or Rapid City. And 2023 is off to a bad start. I've been attorney general now for a couple of weeks, and uh, we're already on our third officer-involved shooting. Attorney General Marty Jackley is the state's top law enforcement officer. He says just about all of these incidents have one thing in common. Fortunately, I think with what we've seen across the nation with violence, almost every one of these officer-involved shootings, there's a drug component. Jackley says targeting drugs is one way to curb the number of shootings, but he's also looking at other solutions. For instance, he's asking the legislature for more money for police training. To make sure we're doing everything we can to prepare our officers for those dangerous situations and challenges. This year in the legislative session, I've asked the legislature uh, for additional uh, you know, laws that will better protect our officers in those situations. In other words, a deterrent. The attorney general wants the penalty for attempting to kill a police officer raised from a maximum of 25 years to 50 years. Jackley says there is no simple answer, but he's looking at a combination of ways to lower the number of times officers feel the need to draw their weapons. Tom Hanson, Land News. The state DCI is currently investigating two officer-involved shootings.